Okay, good morning guys. So, our topic for today is actually adding fractions. So, say for instance, I have here illustrations. So, this is actually, okay, I'll name this fraction. Okay, this is actually, okay, this is one half, right? And if I'll combine this one to another one half, okay, meaning to say, I have here one half plus another one half. So, my objective now is to transfer this part, okay, to this part. So, meaning to say here, I'll locate this one here, so I have this part, and this part now, shaded part, to this part. So, I have here two out of two, or simply as equal to one. So, that is our example number Okay, so let's have another example. What if we have the similar fraction? So our similar fraction is actually, say for instance, we have one third plus one half. Okay, so here I'll visualize this. So I'll draw a rectangle. Okay. Here, and another rectangle here of the same size. Okay, I visualize one third. So what do we mean by that? So one third meaning to say out of, okay, three, out of three, I shade one out of three. Similarly, if I have one half, okay, I'll divide this one now horizontally. So, I shade 1 out of 2 here. Now, so, if you will notice that this is divided um, vertically while this one is horizontally. Then after that, I'll rename, okay, I'll rename this part, okay, to... Okay, I'll divide this one horizontally, okay, while this one is actually vertically. So, if I'll combine these two parts, okay, now, I can rename this fraction one-third as one-two. So, this is the same as two out of six parts. Plus... If you will observe here, I have 1, 2, 3 out of 6 parts. So this is 3 over 6. So, visually, if I have here 1, 2 out of 6 and 3 out of 6, I'll draw the same rectangle of the same size. And... My goal now is actually to transfer, okay, to transfer to transfer these two parts here. So uh, I'll shade here two out of six, one and two. Then after that, I have one, two, three. So I have here, I transferred here, anywhere else, and as long as I will cover three parts. There. So if you will observe, I shaded in all one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, actually, one, two, three, four, five. So this is actually five out of. So this is adding the similar fraction okay, using visualizations. There are times that we will use another technique. So this technique now is actually by abstraction. So what do we mean by that? So if I have here one third plus one half, okay, 
I'll get the LCD of 3 and 2. So meaning to say, I list down the denominators 3 and 2. Then, I get the LCD of 3 and 2. To get the LCD is think of a number that can divide 3 and 2. So, fortunately, the only number that can divide 3 and 2 is actually 1. So, 3 divided by 1 is 3. And 2 divided by 1 is actually 2. Nothing changed, right? So, we will get the product of 3 and 2, which is actually 6. So this is now our common denominator of one-third and one-half. Okay? So the next step is simply 6 divided by 3 times the numerator 1, which is actually 2. Next, 6 divided by 2 times 1 is actually 3. And after that, I'll simply add the numerators 2 and 3, which is actually 5 over 6, since I have now the same denominators. Okay, to summarize, using abstraction, first we get the LCD. Okay, then after that, we get the equivalent fractions. In order to get equivalent fractions, meaning to say the LCD, divided by the corresponding denominator times the numerator. Then add. Simplify if possible.